The Department of Justice's investigation into documents taken from the former president's home is put on hold. ABC's Elizabeth Schulze explains what comes next in Trump's request for a special master. A deadline is looming for the Justice Department and former President Trump's legal team. Both sides have until Friday to submit candidates to be special master, an outside independent party that will review documents seized in the FBI's Mar-a-Lago raid. Federal Judge Aileen Cannon, a Trump appointee earlier this week, granted Trump's legal team's request to name the special master. The judge's decision putting the Justice Department's criminal investigation into the material seized during last month's raid on hold. The harm is that it's delaying a criminal investigation based upon evidence that uh, has been achieved pursuant to it, you know, a lawfully obtained search warrant. Attorney General Bill Barr on Fox News is now urging the Justice Department to appeal the federal judge's decision. I don't think the appointment of a special uh, master is going to hold up, but even if it does, I don't see it fundamentally changing the trajectory. I, in other words, I don't think it changes the ball game so much as maybe we'll have a rain, uh, rain delay. The FBI's search of Trump's Florida home in August yielded more than 11,000 government documents, with more than 100 marked as classified. Many Republicans on Capitol Hill are siding with the former president. Senator Roger Marshall calling the raid an unequal application of the law. I think that there's more questions than answers, uh, so I would like to wait and see which re records have been cleared and which ones hadn't. The Justice Department is still reviewing the judge's order and has not yet indicated if it will appeal. Elizabeth Schulze, ABC News, Washington.